Hello, everybody. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, episode zero of the Bars Over Bars. Episode one. No, this is like the trial episode. That's the dumbest thing I've ever. You're the dumbest thing I've ever. You're the dumbest thing I've ever. You ever seen you, bro? <laughs> That's so rude. <laughs> can I have a cow, my monster? Dude. Can I have it? Well, you put it over there. You put it over there. No, I did not. Yeah, you guys want some fucking podcast ASMR? <laughs> Oof. Can't do that again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Hero the MC. Uh, this is DJ Mad Dog 2020, the best DJ that's ever lived. Um, I, at first, she didn't want the mic stand, but then she saw how cool it looked, and now she um, took. Not only did she take the best mic and the stand, but she uh, she did that. There's rhinoceroses is running upstairs. Dude, it's okay. It's okay. They can't even hear it. What's up, everybody? Um, hi, DJ Mad Dog. Hi. <laughs> DJ Mad Dog is super fucking hot. That's not true. Her mom's going to watch this. That's not true. <laughs> your mom watches everything we put out. It's embarrassing. Yeah, and so does my grandmother. Dude, you're... Oh, okay, Sheila. Dude, my grandmother texts me one day and she's like, are you going to Salem tonight? Because we had a show in Salem. And I was like, how do you even know that? She was like, oh, but you have another show in Portland, Maine as well. Yeah. Here at Bars Over Bars, we do... Multiple shows a day sometimes. Multiple shows a day sometimes. It's really cool. I keep fucking clicking the bottom of the mic and unplugging it. So if I'm saying things twice, it's because I didn't think it, it got heard the first time. But uh, yeah, my name's Hero. I throw like 20 shows a month all over New England with the help of a cool ass team. DJ Mad Dog is my future wife. She's a part of that dope team. She DJs. She makes grilled cheeses. She fucking kills it. She does honestly more work than I do. Um, we... We've we've been talking about this for a while, and then um and then I was on a shitty podcast, and then I decided that uh why don't we just do a better podcast ourselves because pods oh, over pods pods over pods. So this is pods over pods. This is the first episode zero episode zero episode one episode one. This is episode one of pods over pods. Um, you you are gonna see uh the background and the lights and everything changed drastically over time because i have no fucking idea what i'm doing <laughs> um but usually like people make big changes at the w- between seasons but like i'm just oh, like unfiltered yeah like oh with zane and heath yes your favorite podcast so they just put out their first episode of se- ep- uh, season four Ooh. they changed up their whole Was set it good? yeah so she watches uh, this podcast from two vloggers who used to be with David Dobrik. Uh, they still are. They still are. It's called it's called uh, Unfiltered with Zane and Heath, and it's really good. The problem is, is that there's like 400 episodes, and every time I wa- every time I watch it with her, it's the same four episodes. Well, okay. Here's what happened: is I watch it so much that now if I don't like choose a different video after the video I'm watching, it'll just automatically put on Unfiltered. Okay. Because I I watch it that much. Well, no, yeah, and and you p- keep watching the ones that I've that I've watched. I've watched the one where they talk about cars and doors at least five <laughs> times. Like, well, I also just put it on in the background. This is a, so this is a message for anyone who wants to comment. Do you think that there are more cars or more? I mean, do you think there are more wheels or more doors in the world? What do you think? I think. I think there's more doors. Okay. <laughs> what do you believe? I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't really know. DJ Mad Dog has no opinion on the on the doors versus wheels conspiracy. Um. <laughs> wow. Well, um. Episode one going everywhere. I got these pumpkin spice goldfish. You got them. You have them. I have them. They're, They're over right there. there. They're the Dunkin' pumpkin spice donut flavored goldfish. And you know what? Really good. They're bussin'. Really good. Bussin'. 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 Bussin', baby! Okay. What song's that from? Oh, Buss It, Baby. Got it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, shout out Repeat Supreme for no reason whatsoever. Shout out Repeat. <laughs> uh, say That Podcast is another one of our favorite. Po- Don't say this. Say that. Don't say that. Say this. What's it called? Say That? It's say been, That. It's been so long since, since, um, <laughs> since they've dropped an episode, which is no one's fault. I'm sure it's someone's fault. But it's no one's fault. Um, but we miss him so much. Please, please drop episodes again. Um, until then, we are we are New England's premier podcast. We are Pods Over Pods. 
Uh, we're going to have a lot of cool guests on eventually at some point. Siemens Disciple, <laughs> CX Peen. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, Jay Rem with the Jay pen. Rem with the pen. <laughs> all day. All day today. I've been fucking, uh, I've been singing Check on My There's, Haters. Look at this. And, and I've, been, I've been saying like, jealousy. And then I'll turn to Maddie and she'll be like, yeah, they're envious of you. Jay Rem with the pen. Yeah, um, we did drop our um, we did drop our first uh, vlog. This not our first. I mean, so we've been doing vlogs for a while. I was doing them sort of after every show, and they weren't really vlogs as they were mini recaps. But I felt like um, Maddie felt like. Did you just itch your beard with the microphone? It's my microphone, <laughs> and I, <laughs> I. You wanted the good one. You can't itch. You can't itch your beard with that one. I, I wanted this one. Okay. Um, Maddie felt like the vlogs were more just like cool music video recaps, which they kind of were, and they weren't, after a while, they weren't really interesting to watch, and rather than doing one every, after every show, we're doing one per week, and we have some B-roll interview, pre-show, after-show clips sort of thrown in there to separate the shows. Uh, we dropped our first one of that formula, um, on Monday for the, for last week's shows, which consisted of... A dope event at the Kraken Quincy, a dope event with the Real Young Swag in Portland, Maine, and uh, two awesome back-to-back Rhode Island events. And that concluded the vlog. We were supposed Mm. to go, yeah, we were supposed (laughs) to do a uh, groovy video release party, but unfortunately Mad Dog hurt her hand, so I had to take her to the hospital, and they took care of her hand. Um, But yeah, the vlog we dropped on Monday is super dope. Um, I just uploaded a super cut of it today. I edited it. I shrunk, I sped it up for, it's 14 minutes long. I sped it up 14 times till it was just one minute. So it's pretty cool. And put some, put some video, put some music over that. That's kind of my mindset in that kind of regard. Um, this is DJ Mad Dog. Hello. You get a chance to watch the vlog. You're in it. Um, I watched the right recap. You watched the recap? That you posted today. Oh, the one with you in it? Yeah. I posted the two minute and 45 second uh, section of the vlog that's Maddie and Colby shopping. And it was super cool. They went to Starbucks. Starbucks. We stayed in Cranston, Rhode Island, which is a really cool place, right across from this, uh, like, shopping center. It was really cool. They had Chipotle, and it was open, and that's really cool. Chipotle was open. They had Lululemon. They had a Lululemon. Ooh, Lululemon. Okay. Okay, DJ Mad Dog. Okay. Okay, DJ Mad Dog. Okay. Okay, DJ Mad Dog. Okay. We've been talking for eight minutes. I feel like we've been here forever. No. That's it. Vlog's done. No. Not vlog. <laughs> Podcast done. Podcast done. Uh, this is Mad Dog. <laughs> Say it again. I don't think they know who I am. God, what if I'm point. not recording any audio? <laughs> oh <my> God, <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm just gonna edit the. I'm just gonna send the video out. We're gonna. Oh my God. What if we? What if we have to record audio over it? Over the blank video. Why wouldn't we just re-record the whole video? We're already going to have to sit down and talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, Mad Dog. <laughs> Whatever you say. I mean. What? I, okay. I mean. Yeah. I had a turtle. He ran I, away. <laughs> I had a turtle. So, so, Ar- so Arch Zeus has this, uh, this song called I Mean. And um, we had this turtle named Jeffrey and I lost him. Mm-hmm. I lost him. I put him down and he ran away. <laughs> He put him down, went on his phone. I didn't go on my phone. I went on my You're phone. You're a bad liar. You went on your phone. I went on my phone to text Jeffrey Ill to tell him that I named my turtle Jeffrey. <laughs> and then I lost Jeffrey. Um, and then Jeffrey was and gone. And then Jeffrey ran away. <laughs> he didn't come back. Yeah. I hope he's alive. I mean, I hope like. There's a lake, like right of, like a pond lake, whatever, yeah, right and, across the street. And so. someone on the town page posted that they saw a turtle. I mean, it could have been him. I don't know. But, you know, I hope Jeffrey found found what he what he wanted in life. And I hope he's, you know, I hope he's killing it. I hope he's, <laughs> I hope he's, I hope he's killing it. Much he's love. Killing it. Much love to, to Jeffrey. We have Franklin now. Um, but love to touch that. back on the Arch song, he has a song called I Mean. And I have this remix I'm working on called <laughs> Jeffrey's a Turtle Who Ran Away. I, I mean. mean. Yeah. Franklin's a Turtle Who Ran Away. Franklin's a Turtle Who Really Stayed. I mean. You got to talk more into the mic. No. Yeah. Do not put your butt in my face. Sorry. My bad. DJ Mad Dog. Mad Dog? Hello. DJ Mad Dog? Hello. Hello? Hello.
DJ Dog. It's in the game. You, know, um, you don't know what that's from. Mm. Oh my god. So my whole life has, you talk so much my whole life has just been me playing video games so all day long i just fucking spit these references at her that she has no idea and it's honestly heartbreaking dude all all day DJ long jay mad dog it's in the game ea sports it's in the game <laughs> okay i don't know what that is okay Le- drop in the comments if you don't know what ea sports is if you do know what ea sports is feel free to call mad dog a clown but also don't don't call Mad don't. Dog. Don't. Don't call her a clown. She's learning. She's learning. I'm learning. Mad Dog. DJ Dog is learning. I'm looking at the fucking levels, okay? I don't have a sound engineer. Kava's not back there. Kava. Pre- Kava's not back there pressing buttons. Oh, Kava. Dude, I miss Kava so much. I miss Kava. Uh, we, have, we have a board here that's supposed to keep us on track. Um, <laughs> I, re- I read it really quick. And, I, and it says shows slash residencies. And I thought she said vasectomy. <laughs> and I was like, you're going to hit him with a vasectomy. You're going to hit. You're going to make me talk about a vasectomy. Yep. I don't have. I do not have a vasectomy. <laughs> um, but I thought it was weird that you put it on the board. But it says yeah. residency. So. Uh, but yeah, we have a lot of dope shows this week. This episode is probably fucking coming out tomorrow. So um, the shows we have this week. Tomorrow we're at Spicy Smoke Shop in Quincy. Then um, Friday we're at we're at the Kava Bar in Nashua, super dope place. Um, Saturday we're at the Fel Fanatic. Zach is dope. And then in, and then um, Sunday we're doing our first Bangor Made event, which is a hike. But there's a lot of dope hip hop artists, including Labor Two Hundred Seven, who set the whole event up. Mad Dog's cooking grilled cheese is at most of these shows. Mad Dog loves cooking grilled cheese. Mad Dog, why don't you tell the people about about all the grilled cheese you be cooking? I love grilled cheese. Mad Dog's been slinging grilled cheese at the show. Make some noise in the comments if you fucking, if you've had one of Mad Dog's grilled cheeses. <laughs> They're slappers. Slapper certified. They're right. So every show we do, um, we bring, we get some drinks, not like alcohol, but we get like some sodas, some, some water, some chips. Mad Dog will do a grilled cheese, a regular grilled cheese, and then she'll do a themed grilled cheese, which is usually based on the venue or the headliner. Um, it's mostly just fucking a different kind of cheese, maybe some ham, yeah. like a chip, chips on it. Yeah. Um, but it is, it's really cool. People seem to like it. And, and, and one of the, um, there are a lot of pros and cons to doing shows at like small businesses and stores, places that aren't music venues. One of the biggest cons is that like people are thirsty and people are hungry thirsty first and then they'll just they'll... it's crazy to me how many places how many bars don't have food yeah that's crazy even just like shitty food because like drunk people don't care how good the food is yeah like no food at all people just want mozzarella sticks Eat, no literally even just like buy a bag of chips and sell like a bag of chips for that a dollar that. that water has pretzels like i mean at least something but they don't have anything yeah get your yeah Mad Dog disapproves of all the bars without food. Get some food. Yeah, bro. I'm get, hungry. If we throw shows at bars without food, we still love you. But get some food. Yeah. <laughs> get, but like, get some, just get some food. Thanks. Yeah. Shout out DJ Mad Dog. Um, We still got to figure out tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow we're thinking about, or today actually, today. Because the episode's coming out today. Or tomorrow. The episode's coming out tomorrow, which is today. <laughs> oh uh, my God. <laughs> yeah. It's in the basement of a smoke shop. Super cool place. Um... Mad Dog's probably going to cook grilled cheeses. Are we going to have a specialty one? Yeah, it's going to be called uh, Just Fucking Make It. What about just a spicy one? Sure. Because we have jalapenos. You got the jallos? Yeah. Are they in the fridge? (laughs) So then they're bad. No, actually, I don't know where they are. Do they go bad if they're not refrigerated? Maybe. Um, they actually might be in the fridge though okay cool we'll yeah. figure it out so uh maybe the jalapenos are in the fridge <laughs> stay tuned if we'll take a picture of where they actually are and probably put them right here put them, put them right there put the them art right. the art <laughs> the freaking art, art. <laughs> so so uh about a month ago <laughs> yeah no about a month we, we should put the art right here because then we can put the it's What's not... the point of your art? Okay. I'm so, so confused. About a, so about a month ago, uh, DJ DJ Sad Boy Cam was here actually, and uh, we actually we went to Walmart about a minute before it closed. We <laughs> ran in there. I grabbed a canvas. We had to run in through the and, exit. And lo- yeah, we had to run in through the exit because you know how they lock one door when they're like ready to close. Um, 
and then I ran in and I grabbed green spray paint and I put it and then I painted it really shittily. I need to get another can mm-hmm. and then put it on the wall. And every time, every time I look at it, I say, "Mad Dog, look at my art. <laughs> <laughs> That's art." <laughs> you can see the bottom of it, All right? You can see, yeah, my green screen art. Yeah. There. Um. Hi, DJ Mad Dog. Ugh. Uh, it's art. When your dad art. came and your mom, art. Okay. You ever been to Subway? Art. art. <laughs> That's from the movie This Is The End. It's that apocalypse movie with Seth Rogen and James Franco. Okay. You ever been to Subway? Art. <laughs> <laughs> ever got ever got a sandwich made at Subway? That's called art. Okay. Mad Dog. This podcast, art. 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 This podcast, art. Shout out DJ Mad Dog. Um. <laughs> <laughs> You're bad at this. You're bad at this. You're bad at this. You're talking so much. I love talking. Yeah, I can't fuck. I can't talk. You're high and you just want to chill. No, that is not true. Talk talk your shit. Well, now I don't know what I want to talk about. Uh, So I just got off a 16-way phone call with the Bars Over Bars group chat. Um, We are working. uh, In August, we dropped. In August. In September, we dropped our first Bars Over Bars single called Here Goes Nothing. That's something that's been in the vault from me and Nick Lovin for a very long, 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 long time. Uh, we I actually recorded that time. in Cape Cod. Where Matt on! Used to, on! On Cape Cod. Drop in the comments if you think it's in Cape Cod or on Cape Cod. If you think it's in Cape Cod, just go drop off a bridge. Off the, the Sagamore Bridge. The, not the Buzzards Bay Bridge. On Cape Cod. What's the other bridge? The Buzzards Bay? No, it's the. Um, <laughs> no, that's Maine. All the bridges in Maine are. <laughs> <laughs> all the bri- so like all the rivers in Maine are named after um, a lot of like Native American tribes who who the who the Americans all murdered obviously, <laughs> um, but they're all like these like long six syllable names and they're like, they're very hard to, to pronounce. So I usually just make cat noises. Cat noises. Bridge. <laughs> Can you leave that clap in there? <laughs> and <laughs> oh, Mad Dog hurt her hand. Yeah, Mad Dog did hurt her hand the last few days. Yeah, so we dropped a dope single last month called Here Goes Nothing. It's okay, awesome. Okay. Um, up next, I'm going to officially announce it. I'm not going to say the name. Or I'll say the name, and then I won't say who's on it. I'll say the name. You say the name. No, you say okay. the name. You don't know the name. <laughs> Wait. I didn't know the name. I just I, didn't know the name. I, I sort of know I the know name. I do know something. I okay, go. It. I sort of know the name. Go. Okay, bro. Here goes nothing. Okay. Um, here goes nothing. We have a track coming out hopefully next month called Self Made. Um, and it's featuring Nick Lovin. Mm-hmm. It's Nick Lovin Produced. Didn't you just say that you were just going to say the name and not it's say who's Nick on Lovin it? It's Nick produced, but it's featuring three dope rappers. Okay. You can guess who. Um, I know who. Haha. Ha. Yeah, we know who. I was just in <laughs> a 19-way phone call with all of them, and it was nonsense. Um, no, I couldn't hear anything. But shout out Nick Lovin. You were on your phone the whole time. Okay? I wasn't on my phone. I had to be. Or on your laptop. I had to be on my phone. I was watching you on Instagram. Not in the group chat. <laughs> I was in the group. You're a filthy liar. He was oh. not in the group. Oh, okay. That's real obnoxious. Yeah. Someone pull that for a clip. Someone sample that. Nobody sample that. Everybody sample that shit. So, like I said, we have a lot of cool music coming out. I myself have finally, 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 finally gotten the J-Ram hook Oh, feature. actually, no one cares. J-Ram with the bad with the bad <laughs> I have finally gotten the JRAM feature I need to complete the writing process of my four-track EP that's coming out soon. It is part three of four. Um, it's called Wins on Winthrop, and it's kind of so. So, the first project was all about um, the lessons you need to learn in order to succeed. The second project was all about if you don't learn the lessons, you'll devolve into hate. Um, the this third project, Wins on Winthrop, is all about how once you learn the lessons you need to learn, you will finally start winning. And then the last <laughs> project is going to be called Dead on Dudley, and it's going to feature all the tracks but have four additional ones. Um, and it's just, you know, if you don't learn the lessons you need to learn, you'll die. Uh, 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 bars. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Shout out DJ Mad Dog. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dude, stop fucking cut. Stop doing that. Yeah, go for 20 minutes. This is good. <laughs> this is good. We chilling. Um, so I'm going to probably put the Bars Over Bars logo over there and the Positive Cards <laughs> logo right here. Where's the DJ Mad Dog logo? <coughs> right. Just Wait, can you can you edit this so it like so it's small and it's like right here? <laughs> <laughs> edit it so it like gets bigger. Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know? Oh you say you're a good editor. Now prove it. I don't know, bro. I. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Whatever. 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 Okay, alfalfa. Don't call. I need to cut your hair. Need to cut my hair. You can do it after this. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Oh do it Friday. My. For Kava. We'll talk about we have it. three guinea pigs. <laughs> They've been weeding all day. All day. All day. So all day. So when the guinea pigs are excited or hungry or scared or exist, they weed, and it's or like weed, 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 weed. I am about to weed explode. This is true. All they do is fucking weed all day. Every time they hear like. Um, so their food comes in a plastic bag and their hay comes in a plastic bag and everything in this universe comes in a plastic bag. <laughs> so whenever they hear crinkling a plastic, <laughs> they just go fucking berserk. Yeah. Franklin, on the other hand, is pretty quiet. Franklin, don't talk. Franklin much. sleeps a lot, but he sleeps like he's dead. If you lived underwater 99% of the time, you'd fucking sleep too. <laughs> Well, I'm saying, like, when he sleeps, he looks like he's dead. Yeah, when Franklin sleeps, he looks like he's lost all consciousness so. forever. But he's alive. Yeah, I mean, he's chilling. He's ch- um, But he looks like he's dead, so. He is chilling. Franklin mm-hmm. does look like he's dead most of the time. Um, The guinea pigs, they, they, I feel like they're awake all the time. They usually sleep during the day. Are they nocturnal? I guess so. Hamsters are nocturnal, right? I mean, hamsters and guinea pigs are two different things. Yeah. Can you can you go ugly that? Um. Can you go ugly that? I don't think they're nocturnal. I think I know. I think hamsters are. Hamsters definitely are. Can I tell you something? What? I never told anybody this. <sighs> no, I'm gonna tell the whole world. When I was in second grade, I got the chance to take the the hamster home. Oh no. I lost him. <laughs> what did you I got do? A, I got a chance to take the class hamster home and I lost him. <laughs> did you get a new one? Or did you just not bring it back? How did you tell your teacher you lost the hamster? I told him my mom lost the hamster. <sighs> oh my God. And the teacher was too scared to call my mom. But I told her my mom would beat him up. Oh. No, they are not nocturnal. What are they? They, they are usually awake during the day and sleep at night. We sleep during the day sometimes. <laughs> Dude, nap time. Yo, take naps. That's all I'm saying. Take fucking naps. Guinea pigs choose to sleep during Guinea both pigs. day and night. Guinea pigs don't usually have regular sleeping habits in general. They tend to sleep for short periods of time, kind of like short naps. Kind of like me. Okay, DJ Mad Dog. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> um yeah we've had three guinea pigs for what like a year and a half yeah Did we have them before we drove to florida we got them after like february right january something like that yeah i think so yeah uh me and mad dog right were dating for like four months and then we, then we said hey why don't we just drive across the universe together and she slept the whole way yep and the whole way back that was and then fun. and then i was dying and I said, hey, can you please? <laughs> so she woke up from her from her two-hour nap. Oh, my God. Which previously she woke up from her two-hour nap. And I said, hey, I'm going to fucking die. Can you please drive? And she said, yeah, let me just, <laughs> let me take a nap real quick. <laughs> the saddest part is that's real. Tr- that's true. That <laughs> and, happened. <laughs> and this is the woman I'm going to marry. <laughs> I really, I really was awake for like twenty minutes at that point, and I really said nah. No, I got to go. <laughs> so, that. and I did too. <laughs> I took like another two hour nap. So we drove for, <laughs> I believe, forty four hours total. Yeah, something yeah, we like that. We drove for forty. It's a twenty two hour drive to where my grandmother lives in Florida. So we drove for forty four hours total there and back. Um. And Mad Dog slept for 22 of those hours, <laughs> which you're like, okay, she was awake for half the trip. Every morning we left at like 
six, <clears throat> and then she would wake up at like two, <laughs> and I'd still be driving. And so not only did I drive for those eight hours while she was sleeping, not only did she fucking sleep the night before, <laughs> so she'd sleep from like midnight to six a.m., but then she'd sleep from six a.m. to two p.m., <laughs> and then. And then I was already driving for eight hours, and then I drive for six more hours. Yeah. 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 Hey. That is great. Time. She's just, she's not the best road trip, buddy. You're not, you don't, you don't pull your weight when, when it comes to driving. I just get bored. I also don't like driving. I like, I like driving. But yeah, exactly. After like hour 40, I kind of want to take a little bit of a nap. Excuse me if that's Listen. fucking too far fetched. We also no okay okay no. okay bro. If we could do that again, I want to like make a road trip. You want to drive it. for like an hour? Yeah. Talk to me. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb. That's gonna be our thing. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be like the bars over bars podcast thing. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. What's next? You were you saying you were saying something? Oh, and then I distracted you. Oh, if we do that again, I want to make it like an actual road trip. Oh, like do stuff. Yeah. We should. You know where I want to go, where? and I've told you this before. I want to go to Nashville, Tennessee, like real bad. We should go during the two weeks off we have at the end of December. Just drive to Nashville. How long of a drive is we that? Could get, we could probably get there in a day, honestly. Oh shoot. Ooh. You would have to fucking drive. <laughs> How far I, away is Nashville, Tennessee? Dr- leave in the comments. If you can beat DJ Mad Dog, I got a free T-shirt for you. How are they gonna beat oh, me if it's not posted? Is that T Harvey tomorrow? in the comments? <laughs> T Harvey, you coming? Oh shit! Seventeen T-Harvey. hours and sixteen minutes. <laughs> so, if we left at six, we'd get there at midnight. Yeah. Basically, without stopping. We'd stop. We'd stop. Yeah, we'd have to get gas. Yeah. We could do it. Yeah. We could do it in a day. Oh, we don't know anybody there. Mm. Oh, so we have to get a hotel. I have a family. Could we I stay have family with them? In Nashville. I kind of want to get a. Yeah, but not. Yeah, but then we're spending like $300 yeah, right. on trout. Yeah. So. I have family there. We should, we should go to North Ca- South Carolina and stay with TJ. TJ, you want us to come live with you for like a week? <laughs> Can we go live with TJ for a week? Dude. Oh, wait, no, TJ's coming back. He oh, might, yeah. He might, wait, he might be coming back closer <gasps> to Christmas, though. Shh. What if we plan this? No, sh- <laughs> stop. Stop. Let me talk. What if we plan this road trip around TJ coming back so that when he goes back to... So, so he just books like a one-way ticket, mm-hmm. and then we can drive with him back to South Carolina. So we'd road trip with him, too. And then we drive back here by ourselves, obviously. I think that'd be fun. I love, how, I love how we're planning our whole trip based on TJ being okay with all this. Yeah. <laughs> TJ! Thanks, TJ. And <laughs> TJ. <laughs> oh, you know TJ would be okay with Yo, that. TJ's gonna be... TJ's gonna fucking... <laughs> TJ's gonna like what we have to say. That's all I'm saying. We love TJ. Shout out TJ. Um, good stuff from TJ. Oh, for those who don't know TJ, he is the most supportive uh, person I've ever met. He's part of the Bars Over Bars team. He is a Bostonian through and through, but currently lives in South Carolina. He has since <coughs> he has since April. Really, 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 really cool dude. Super nice dude. He's rapping now. That's pretty dope. I just saw a video on Instagram of him playing guitar. He's got a track with Jeff Porter coming out Friday. Really? JP. You guys don't know Jeff Porter. He's half of Jeff Porter and David Ryan. <laughs> uh-huh. And David, and if you have a shitty podcast, David will give you a wedgie. That's all I'm <laughs> David saying. David will give you a David wedgie. David will give you a wedgie if you have a bad podcast. That's so all I'm saying. Be prepared. So be prepared to get a wedgie if you have a bad podcast. Mm-hmm. Have you? Did you ever get a wedgie? No. Oh, I went to school with mean people. I got. Wedgie. Did you really get wedgies. wedgies? Dude, I got wedgies. I got fucking toilet watered. I got wet willied. Willie D. I had one dude tell the air the I had one dude, this one kid, told the told the dare officer that I flipped him off and I didn't. 
Huh? Yeah, some dude. Do you remember the dare officer? Yeah. Does do they still have? They don't even have cops in schools. So let's fucking. There's yeah, no. they do. They have more cops in schools now than they ever did. I think. I deliver food. Timberland didn't have a cop when we went there. There are two elementary happen. schools in this town. There isn't a cop stationed at. Well, yeah, it's mostly in like high schools, but why? I don't know. There's so so. This is gonna sound fucked up, but high school kids have a better chance of defending themselves than preschoolers. So like in and theory, that's why these teachers keep dying because they keep getting in between the gunman and the student because the students can't protect. I think themselves. I think we should have security guards at every school, but. Mm-hmm. To prioritize high schoolers over little kids is kind of, kind of, not, yeah, prioritized right. But then if you think about it too, though, in high schools it's easier to sneak like, you know, weapons into school, because they're smarter. Let's be honest. I mean, they're stupid, but they're smarter. And if we don't have these security guards, then it's much easier for these older kids to get things into schools. Don't come in school tomorrow. I got I got that I got that fire. That's I got that, not funny. I got that fire. Shout out DJ Mad Dog. One time at DY, um, some kid put a sticky note in a bathroom that said DY was gonna blow up at two o at the two o four bell. So then they had to dismiss school at like one thirty that I day. Did something like that. At Timberline. Yeah, someone wrote in the mirror like. Actually, I think I heard about that. No, 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 not at Timberline. Where I went to middle school. Um, something happened at Tim. Oh, it was after you graduated. Yeah, because I, I think it was like my. I didn't school. go to. I didn't go to the Timbo middle middle school. No, I know. I'm saying Timbo got a. a bomb threat but it was after you had already graduated because that was at dy i graduated yes dude does anyone else so i'm 24 does anyone else still have nightmares about being in high school i want to go back to high school so bad. Why? i miss high school oh my god i love yeah because now you have all these responsibilities and you can't handle it no uh i had fun in high school i was fucking miserable in high school huh? high school was the worst uh, drop in the comments if you want to go back to high school or you never want to, or you want to. You didn't hang out with the right people. I didn't hang out with anybody. You hung out with me. Yeah, look where that no, got me. No, you bullied me. <laughs> I bull- wow. Well, yeah, because you looked like the naked mole rat from Kim Possible. Okay. Have you seen yourself? Oh. Insert, insert the picture of us. <laughs> insert. But make it small and then bigger. <laughs> Not too big. <laughs> Just. You're, you're going to have to send me the pic. Okay. okay, it's okay. on. It's on A. Okay. <laughs> it's on, okay. I hate to break this to you, but I really have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Hello. Ow, God. Stop laughing so hard. Yeah. So, him. Mad Dog just came back from the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mad, Mad Dog. Um. Shit. Okay. <laughs> There was a bathroom break. <laughs> um, oh, our bathroom flooded <laughs> earlier. That was like going to be the... F- we can say that. <coughs> no, I know. That was going to be like the first thing we talked about, and then we forgot so, all about it. I was taking a shower. So basically, yeah, he was taking a shower. I was downstairs, and I hear the toilet literally start bubbling. Like, I hear something bubbling, and I go into the bathroom. The toilet's bubbling, and... There's like a drain thing, like it's like a covered drain in the floor, and it's just the water's flowing out of it. So then I run upstairs, and I'm like, "Hey, um, our bathroom's flooding. Can you turn the shower off?" Yeah. And here we are. And now we have a bunch of towels over the drain. Is there tape over the drain? Yeah. That didn't work. No. <laughs> tape did not work. No. It's like when I tried to fucking. That tape's been there though. Yeah, that's the that's our drain tape. <laughs> Pretty secure. Yeah. Um. Okay. What's up, everybody? I want to get sponsored by Monster. Shout out Monster. I probably have two of these Let's a day. Use. Very unhealthy. Do not drink two Monsters a day. Don't even drink two a week, honestly. Mm-mm. Every time I start to feel Don't better, even drink one in your lifetime. Don't drink one in your lifetime. <laughs> I'm going to die when I'm like 36. The doctor asked him um, if he smokes. He said no. Um, and then if he drinks alcohol, he said no. And then if he drinks caffeine. And I was like, oh, damn. 
And then he was like, can you just put down that I drink a few? No, sorry, you drank like ten. Okay. Oh, okay. my doctor visits are all, are always very quick, and yours take like ten years. I said that. I know. That's what I. That's why I'm. Yeah, about. I know, dude. They hate me. I don't. They don't. I don't know. Well, you went to we urgent care. We were there for like three hours. Two. Okay. Two and a half. Okay. Well, it would have been longer if we waited for my results. Were we gonna? No. Okay. Well, you didn't want to. <laughs> I said you do whatever you want to do. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyways. My phone died, so I got really bored. Sucks. Then we went to Kume after. Kume 3, the first two burned down. How come? And then you left oh, your food Kume. on you. And then I left my, my food on the roof, and then some very Swedish people <laughs> were like, Oi. Food's on your roof. The food's on your roof. Uh, okay. That's not, that was like, That's that was like it. pretty Italian, but <laughs> it was like an Eastern European accent. Oh, my lights are not on. Aw. Did we they? have batteries. There's batteries on my your laptop. desk. That's just the rain. Yeah. It's like th- well, no, that's people driving. That is my laptop. No, that's. My laptop goes crazy. Yo, anyone else's laptop just like turn into a nuclear reactor just all the time? Yeah. For no reason, for no like, like I opened up fucking Opera, which is my which is my browser. Opera. Opera, and it's just fucking atomic bomb. I don't, and sometimes it gets like really fucking hot, like real hot, like gonna fucking burn you alive, hot. No, like actually could burn you. Yeah, like hair straightener under a blanket, hot. <laughs> yes, I. I can feel it through my backpack sometimes. And it's like really hot through my backpack. So So uh I had a laptop. It was all right. Um uh, and then we landed in Oregon to do some shows last year and it just didn't work. I think the power supply or something was just busted. It was probably a coincidence. I don't know, but I had to get something quick. So I got the cheapest gaming laptop fucking Walmart had because I wanted something with like eight gigabytes of RAM, um, which is enough in my opinion to do, to do like live stream and video editing and pretty much everything I wanted to do in a basic sense. Um, but it's it's fucking there are definitely a lot of pros and cons. It runs games like a fucking champ, um, but. Um, it gets overwhelmed very quickly, mm-hmm. and the battery, best case scenario, lasts like an hour. Yeah. And sometimes at like sixty percent, it'll just shut off. Mm-hmm. It's just like, nah, bro, peace. <laughs> we nah. we done for like mm-hmm. for like no <laughs> for like no reason. So a lot of times when I get home, I'll 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 edit whatever the fuck I'm working on, and then I'll leave it unplugged. Because it's like, well, I don't need to plug it in. Like, I'm at fucking 80%. And then two seconds later, I'm at 60. And then a second later, it's fucking... And then I hear, oh, no. Oh, Oh, no. no. (laughs) So I edit everything with Wondershare for more. (coughs) And um, it saves the project, like, every second, which is really cool. So I never have to... Sorry. I never have to worry about, like, saving ever. It It does it for me. We're doing, uh, we're doing ASMR. Damn, this podcast really fell off in the last half, huh? No. <laughs> Damn, this po- Damn, this podcast really fell off. We 41 minutes? Oh, we still got some stuff to talk about. So, we talked about your pumpkin spice goldfish. DJ Mad Dog. Yeah, I know. I noticed you don't DJ as much. You want to tell us I why? I like DJing. You not anymore? No. But you love seeing your name on the flyer. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to leave it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I told you to. Except you should put like food by Matt Dog when I'm doing grilled cheeses. Sure. I'm chefing it up. Um, Maddie likes the. Uh, she doesn't like running people's sets. She yeah. likes more of the. Uh, and that's no diss to anyone running sets. She likes more like the pre-show and the mid-show sort of. I like when I can like do my own thing. Yeah, when she can play her own songs. Yeah. I don't blame her. Um, I mean, someone's got to press play on the artist tracks. I'm happy mm-hmm. to do it. Um, Sometimes I like to just you know. Sleep under the DJ table. Mad Dog sleeps under the table. We're actually getting a bigger table, so Mad Dog has more room to sleep. Yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah, we're also doing food. 
Um, if anyone's interested in like waffles or pancakes, let us know. I was told that we should do pancakes. You'd have to make a bunch of mix like beforehand. Yeah. They make these things where it's like a you can make the mix in it and then you can press a button and it like it has a tiny hole at the bottom so it'll pour it out. I think that would be really cool. Yeah, do that. Do that shit. Mad Dog also makes her own clothes. She made this bars over bars pocket tee for me. She's super dope. Anyone need something simple, make sure you hit DJ Mad Dog up. Mm-hmm. Uh DJ Dog <laughs> is the best. I paint. She paints. She's working on it. So I got an awesome pair of Air Force Lows. Mids? Lows? I think they're mids, Air technically. Air Force Lows? I don't know. Well, the lows are like the ankle shoes. The mids mm-hmm. are like these, and the highs are like... Yeah, I think they're mids. lows. Are they lows? Yeah. Okay. Air Force Lows. My first pair of Air Forces. They're white. The, uh, naturally, the... Uh, the sort of like I don't know the 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 bottom part yeah is like piss yellow because like shit I'm saying like a lot I'm I sorry. can yeah I can send you the picture can you send me a list of synonyms so I don't have mm-hmm. to fucking say like all the time I can send you the picture to put on the you know do the thing she's Make painting the bottom of them black which is super cool splattered with with a spatter blue. of blue we cripping. We cribbing. Um the bars over bars. Yeah, you're That's right. It's like the bars over bars colors. <clears throat> yeah, blue. Light blue is like one of my favorite colors. I use that for bars over bars a lot. Pods over pods is probably going to be like a purple. How do you feel about purple? I love purple. Can you do lilac? My favorite color. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, shout out DJ Mad Dog. Mm-hmm. Um, also, we have a lot of dope shows coming up in November. I don't want to name them all. I can name them all. No, I'll just talk about the first week. I'll just talk about the first week. Let me pull up my phone. I'll talk about because the first week's more important. We're doing a lot of cool things. I will say one event that we're doing. Later in the month is at the Everett Rec Center, and King Noir set it up. It's it's going to be awesome. It's going to have. I thought that date changed. Yeah, but it's going to be the week after. Oh. But um, he set it up. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a whole youth event. Um, kids are going to get extra credit for going, which is fucking crazy. But uh, it's going to be a lot of spoken word. We are taking a cover, but all of it's getting donated to like v- victims of. Uh, domestic abuse and drug addiction and homelessness and et cetera, etc. <laughs> my brains, my brains in shambles. Um, that's gonna be really cool. Uh, the two tues- next Tuesday, the first of the month, we're at Midway Cafe in Boston. Um, that's gonna be a really cool event. Uh, then the day after, we're at the Crack, and then two, and then we're taking that Thursday off. <sighs> And then the day after that, the 4th, we're at Spicker River in Lawrence. We actually have uh, E-Turn coming up from Florida to do a co-headline with Esh and the Isolations. Um, and then the day after, we're doing a JFX and CXP co-headline at the legendary Opus Underground, which is one of our favorite venues. Has our, has our favorite security guard, Derek. 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 And then the day after that, we're working with Boston's Big Four on a dope showcase. And that is the first week. The next show after that is a Bars Over Bars PDX event that Wednesday, the 9th. Uh, that's all I'm going to talk about shows. But Bars Over Bars PDX is on the board, so I cycled into it. See that segue? <laughs> that segue? Bars wow. Over Bars PDX, run by Dee Dwilly, is Wait, a... Wait, insert the logo from small to big. <laughs> from small to big. Dude, no one's going to watch this fucking video. Ugh. They're all going to do the audio. The audio book. The Audible. Sponsored by Audible.com. Yeah. No, they're going to watch the video. Upload this through Anchor. Anchor. What you don't the know what Anchor is. Anchor? Anchor's like distro kid for podcasts. I don't really know what distro okay. is. Okay. Uh, Bars Over Bars PDX, founded by D. Dwilly. Well, founded by me first, I guess. Founded by me, adopted by D. Dwilly. Um, founded, Bars Over Bars PDX, founded by D. Dwilly, um, is a movement based off of, in, based off of and in collaboration with mine to bring you awesome events free for the artist. 
in Portland, Oregon. Uh, the Portland, Oregon scene, from what I hear and from what I've experienced last year when I went out there, is amazing. There's a lot of good people who truly, truly, truly want to uplift each other and build hip hop and work together. Um, up here, the collaboration um, isn't like great. I wish that there were more people at least who throw shows that that want to work together more, but um, that just isn't the case. It's, it's, it's a very, it's fucking, it's, it's a cutthroat, men, it's a, it's a cutthroat divided mentality that a lot of people have up here, unfortunately. And in Portland, Oregon, it is a beautiful hip hop scene. We are probably gonna, probably gonna be moving in like three to five years probably get to the west coast experience life a little bit we do have a lot of work left to do here a lot of dope dope shows to throw but we also have a beautiful life that we want to live together somewhere warm mad dog loves the warm listen i want to live in california at some point in my life even if it's just for one year i think california is overrated but you've never been there you've never been there i've been (laughs) Okay, I actually cut that out though. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um No, California is How many my times? Three times? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um no, California is one of my favorite places. Um I don't know. I just I want to live there for you. Maybe it is overrated. Is it like dry hot? No, it's like perfect. At least I went to well, Southern California. Well, you're by the ocean, right? Yeah. So it's going to be cooler no matter what. So I went to... <laughs> Cut I went, that out. Uh, I my voice cracked. Leave it in. I went to San Diego and it was it was like... Eight, I went in July. So it was, of course, a little bit hotter. But honestly, it was like 85 the whole time. And it didn't rain and it wasn't cloudy and the weather was perfect the whole time I was there. So I like I like like I like the winter more. See, that's where yeah, you're wrong. That's where we're gonna break <laughs> up. That's where we're gonna stop um, seeing each other. That's my, where I'm wrong. My mom is a huge winter person. I'm the total opposite. I just don't like I like fall, I like spring, I like winter. I just don't like when it's and I like parts of summer. I just don't like when it's dumb, stupid, dry hot. And I'm gonna die. Yeah. See, it's not like that, though. Yeah, in San Diego. Yeah, well, that's where I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> I also, I also want to go to San Fran at some point. Oh, San Fran? Yeah. Okay. I want to see the bridge. You want to see you know, the bridge? The bridge. Oh, I, the... P- I want to see... <laughs> bridge? I want to see where they filmed Full House. You think they filmed it there? The building. The house. Oh, the building. Yeah. They filmed that show in a studio no, set, well, probably in Los yeah, Angeles. Yeah, but the whatever the happened to the instabilities? You're gonna get copyrighted. Man. You can't do it anymore. You're gonna get copyrighted. The milkman, the paper boy, <laughs> evening TV. Okay. Waiting from around the bend. All right, next. Everywhere you look. A hand to hold <laughs> on to. Okay, <laughs> copyright. <laughs> um, yeah, the West Coast is definitely very interesting. I think we're I we are extremely spoiled here in New England when it comes to like how close the states are. Like D. Willie lives in Portland, Oregon. He did a show in Seattle, which is the next state up, and it was three hours. Of, like Portland, Oregon is at the top of Oregon, oh, yeah. and Seattle, Washington is like almost at the top of Washington. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a three-hour drive. Yeah. And and it is a seven hour drive for D Dwilly to San Francisco and it's a ten hour drive to Los Angeles and it's like a twelve hour drive to San Diego. Mm-hmm. So and, mm-hmm. and 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 the and the weirdest thing is that there's really like nothing in between. Yeah. Wait, what? What do you mean? Like like as far as like other big cities. Yeah. Like like here here in New England, like you go you can go from from you go from Boston to Lowell to Lawrence to Manchester to mm. See, no. 
Because there's, no, see, because there's, like, for California, at least, there's, like, L.A., and then there's Malibu, and then there's Long Beach. I'm Those ta- are all pop- just like, as popular as, I'm, like, Manchester, Lowell, I'm talking, Lawrence. like, hip-hop scenes. <clears throat> oh. Well, you don't know what California well, is. California is a very big hip-hop scene. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. So what are you talking but about? But what I mean is that, like, does it make sense to have a Bars Over Bars Idaho? No. Idaho. Like. Idaho? Potatoes. Oh. R.I.P. Big Graham. Big. Graham. <laughs> big Graham was uh, big our. Gra- big, big Graham. Gra- big, big Graham. Gra- big Graham. Big Graham. Big Graham. Big Graham was one of our favorite uh, Bars Over Bars PDX artists. He unfortunately passed away earlier this year, but he is forever in our hearts. Um, love Big Graham. We love Big Graham. Shout out to Willie for introducing Big Graham. There aren't like a lot of people who treat Maddie as like mm-hmm. a, a huge like. I'm just a rapper girlfriend to most. A people. lot of rapper girlfriends are just rapper girlfriends, and that's no diss to rapper girlfriends, but it is. But, um, I can tell when the rapper girlfriend doesn't want to be there, and it makes me feel bad. Uh- so, Mad Dog. Wants to be there. She's fucking amazing. And other people, some people don't recognize her as part of the team or like works as hard as works. Some people just think of her as the girlfriend, but she truly is like the other half of this organization and she kills it. She she wrecks it. And Big Graham is like one of the few artists who sat down and like had a conversation with her. Yeah. And especially back then, too, I feel like the majority. Well, I had like. Back then, back then we were on show fifty. Back then we were not that great. <laughs> um, what do you mean we were, we were not that great? Well, we were still figuring things out. Me and you. Well, the whole. We were dating for like a year. Yeah, I know, but I'm Big talking about we we're still figuring things out. Whatever, but um, no, back then a lot of the people we were involved oh, with. Oh yeah, a lot. Yeah, like like most things in life, a lot of the people we used to work with we don't work with anymore, and that's okay. That's not even what I'm saying. I'm saying. Most of those people just ignored me. Oh, like, yeah. now I feel a lot more included in yeah. everything. Well, now you DJ. Not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it helps when you participate in the event. Uh-huh. I know. I know. It's just my opinion. I'm uh, always participating, though. Mad Dog in is... In some way. Mad Dog's participating. Whether it's running the door, making she grilled run, cheeses, Mad DJing. Dog runs the door, Mad Dog grilled cheeses. When you make grilled cheeses, you're a staple. Yeah. You are a fucking staple of the industry when you make grilled cheeses. Yeah. Um, We do have a shout out list. <laughs> I didn't get All right, the, 20 people sh- to I didn't, shout out. I didn't, Go. I didn't get to shout anybody out in the last podcast I was on, so I do want to shout Boo. out people on this podcast. Woo! Um, I'm just going to name the first 20 people that come to my mind, and it's nothing to be taken personal. Um, Demon's Disciple, J Ram, CXP, Dying Star, Tyler Harvey, Jeff Porter, <laughs> David Ryan, um, Isaac Groove, D Twilly, shout out Kava, shout out TJ, shout out Tom Mikes, Tom Mikes, <laughs> shout out my homie Tom, Tom Mikes. Mikes, shout out my homie Sean Mikes, that's 11, <laughs> shout out, uh, Tom Welsh, shout out Tom Welch from Vibes Up, that's fucking 12, Lee Giles, Tree Lock, 13, 14. Um, shout out Zen Studios, a lot of good people. Shout out the uh the rest of Plotmore, great people. Shout Mags. out, I smoke weed, my boys get raspy. I smoke weed, my boys get raspy. That is my favorite line I love of how it's any like, song. For ever. me, it's devolved into like a Scooby Doo voice now. Yeah, right, no Mags. <laughs> I smoke weed, my boys get raspy. <laughs> I really need them to do that. <gasps> Are they both gonna be there for New Year's Eve? Yeah, Plotmore. Oh my yeah. god, they have to do that. They're song. gonna be there for the the trend show you're doing too. Oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah I forgot. Oh my god. No, for New Year's though. Yeah, they'll they be for. Have to do that anyway. Shout out Lyndon. That's six. You heard it here first, Groovy and Mags. You must do that song. Thank you. You can just cut it after you say "I smoke weed." My voice get raspy though. Don't worry about the rest. Shout out. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out the Red Young Swag. He's fucking amazing. Oh, he is so nice. That I love is, him. That is one nice dude. <clears throat> um, he remembered my name. Some people do. Yeah, some. Some. Some people remember mine. Do you know how many people, to, like, I've met you like 600 times and you still call me the DJ? The DJ. <laughs> Yo, shout out the DJ. Like, my bro, favorite I is shout this, out. I made this whole event happen. My favorite is shout out Bars Over. 
Dude, people will look right at the logo on the fucking. No, literally. they'll look right at the logo. This is this is it's not a diss, but it is. People will look right at the logo on the fucking tablecloth, and they'll be like, "Yo, shut up, bars over." Like, it's bars over bars. Like I like Smigs. Smigs, I love you so much, Smigs. <laughs> but you can't be you can't keep calling me bars over media. You know what bars we over media. you know what we are, Smigs. <laughs> you know. Love you it. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna find a clip from the live stream and put it in. Yeah. Of him, of him saying bars <laughs> over. Shout out bars over. No, but shout out Smigs and Soul Sixteen. <laughs> they are a fantastic the the do rag boys, very talented. Shout out Zach from the Fell Fanatic. Shout out all the cool small businesses we get to work with. Crispy clean kicks. Marcus. I was just Marcus. Marcus. Me and Marcus have this Frick, like. What's what's his name? His Ronaldo. Friend, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Yo, shout out Ronaldo from Crispy Clean Kicks. Yeah. Um, we've been booking this Cava Bar in Nashua, United States Unitary in Milford, New Hampshire. Actually, um, helped me get in touch with them. We're about to have our third show with them on Friday. It's a cool little hallway setup. It is. They serve Cava which is not the wrapper. Mm-hmm. I believe kava is a stimulant that derives from the root of the coffee plant. Yeah, something that like sense? that. I think so. Um, did you like it? So, okay. So I really like the seltzers that we got, which actually I think there's yeah, still we, one in the fridge. Yeah, we got kava seltzers. They were really good. They're Matt, really good. You got um, I got a, a latte, latte. A kava latte. It was, I'm sorry. I love the humans that work at that kava bar but that was the most disgusting thing i've ever had and some people really like it that's some not to say really that like it. it's just disgusting flat out no i it's just not my taste like you don't like crabs. i think it was you too don't like crap st- no, no no i think it honestly i think it was too strong for me because i like a lot of sweetener and stuff in my coffee i love when things are like yo so. I, I go to dunkin donuts and i'm like how much? How many? Sh- how much sugar can you legally give me? <laughs> how, how can I get like ten? Just liquid a cup sh- of sugar. Can I get ten liquid sugars? Thanks. <laughs> oh. If you work at Dunkin' Donuts and you put granulated sugar in iced in anything iced, you're an asshole. Because then it's, I did that. Then you it's, have to ask. Because then it sits. Why wouldn't you put liquid sugar in it? No, you have to ask. But for then it just sugar. sits on the bottom and then it gets in your teeth. I worked at Dunkin' Donuts. You worked at Dunkin' Donuts and you shouldn't have. Mad Dog, I always uh, Mad Dog just got a job at Aroma Joe's. Aroma Joe's. She's gonna be serving them blue Hawaiians. I wonder if I get free drinks. Do you get free Probably. drinks? Can you give me a smoothie? No. Okay. Mad Dog's not gonna get me a smoothie, unfortunately. Nope. Sorry. What's our outro song gonna be? I have no idea. How long have we been doing this? I gotta cut some of it out, but it's been yeah. an hour. We should do like 10 15 more minutes because you do have to cut i feel like you have to cut a lot uh, mm. not a lot just me talking about me talking shit about your mom and you peeing <laughs> and you peeing let's talk about one more thing okay one more thing yeah okay shout out demons shout out demons. <laughs> uh demons it, besides tj demons is the oldest bars are bars member demons is i think he's 27 might be oh i thought you meant like how long they've been with us oh. Demons has been with us. I mean, honestly, me, Cam, D. Twilly, we're like the veterans. Yeah. Um. But besides that, and D- I'm DJ Mad Dog, of course. Um. But besides that, I mean, I kind of got Demons and Kava and Vinny and and a bunch of cool people and CXP around the same time. Yeah. Tyler's dope. We've been working with. <laughs> I mean CXP. I mean CXP. Uh, we've been working with CXP for a while. <laughs> Everybody knows his name. I know. <laughs> Everybody knows it's it. It's definitely all my fault too because I started calling him <laughs> CXP. It's weird because like some people, it's just like like demons. I'll never call by his real name. No. It- always no. like demons is generally one of like my best friends but i'll never call him by his real name it's always demons Whack. but like cxp it's and it's your fault yeah. um but 
I don't book any rappers that call me Derek, which I'm very grateful. They either call me Hero or the DJ or Bars Over. <laughs> or Bars Over. <laughs> or Bars Over. <laughs> uh, yo, shout out Over Media. <laughs> one, I, booked, I booked 327 shows. <laughs> one time, one dude called me Over Bars. Over Bars. Yo, shout out Over Bars. Over Bars. This dope show. <laughs> Bro, you don't even know where you are right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, calling people in, in in this like artist creative realm, people have their fake names, and it's almost like weird to use their name, their real yeah. name. But I feel like it just depends on like how you, you. Beat them. yeah, that too. Like I don't know, like Dying Star. I'm never gonna call. <laughs> Oh my god, weird. I'm literally out of everybody. Beep. Wait, you should do that. Beep. That'll be that would leave so much mystery. That'd Beep. be really cool. Edit that out too. Okay. okay, so I gotta yeah, get a, do that. I gotta get a beep sound effect. Yeah, do it. Beep. But like I said, anyways, dying star I'm never gonna call Beep. But it's Beep. it's demons. I have so much to edit in this last ten minutes. <laughs> uh J Rem. J Rem. Uh, obviously. Well, obvious. Well, from his name, you know his name. I mean, no, Sativa Steve. <laughs> it, what's his real name? Sativa's let me. We won't say his real name, but let me tell you, it ain't Steve. It's not Steve. <laughs> not um, even close not to e Steve. Like, uh, so my name's Hero because, um, I wanted something that, um. That started with the first letter of my last name, but I'm also a big. My favorite song is "Hero" by Nas, so that's kind of where where "Hero" comes from. The MC part is just that's what I do. I'm an MC, and I think when I tell people my name's Derek. Oh, so like, you think you're a hero? Yes. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> is that a reference to something? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, so you think you're a hero? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've thrown eight bajillion <laughs> shows. <laughs> What were we talking about? Oh, people's names. <laughs> you can't distract me like that. I have three guinea <laughs> pigs and a turtle and I'm all confused. What? <laughs> um, people's real names surprise me and then sometimes yeah. sometimes they don't. Like Sativa Steve, uh, let me tell you, his real name is not any of that. Not uh, even not. close. No. Sometimes I'll like joke around and like when I find out some of these people's real names, I'm like, you just ruined my life. Like finding out Sativa Steve's real name ruined my life. Ruined, <laughs> ruined it. Yeah. I'm gonna put timestamps in here where like where we start talking about parts. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Should I put our names in the in the bottom? What do you like mean? Like little placards? No, that'd be dumb. Maybe just in the beginning for like the first. Minute People know who you are. People know who DJ Mad Dog is. Shout out DJ Mad Dog. If you can't tell, this is coming to an end. Um, but we talked about a lot of dope things. Um, yeah, and I just want to say that like today or yesterday, therefore, has been like not a hard day, but a weird day. Um, definitely going through some shit, but getting through it. And I have a lot of support, and I've done a lot of work, and I've done a lot of good good work for a lot of good people. And I think that in the grand scheme of things, um, the more good you do, the more good that will come back to you when you need it. If 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 my words do make sense. Um, but I appreciate all the support I've been getting on the matter at hand. Most of you probably know what that is. I would just like to say that we have done nothing but elevate hip hop and the culture in the last 250 shows. And we will continue to do so for 250 more. Tomorrow is show number 328. We're at Spicy Smoke Shop in Quincy. It is cur it is curated and run by CXP, a.k.a. <laughs> and it is going to be a good show. Uh, we have J-Ram, e Eastie, J-Ram and Arden. They're busting out a co-set. We got Eastie. We got T.Y. the Righteous. We got CXP. We got Asani. And we have someone else oh. dying star we got dying star whose real name is Boop. shane shane no do we beep, beep that out beep. beep that out okay should we get a regular beep or should we find like a bars or a bar sound effect 
What do you mean? Like like a special sound effect that's yeah. only for bars? I'm just trying to smoke. Oh. And yo, the police behind me. Packages. 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 Yeah, but you couldn't extend that. Yeah. So, like, if I needed a beep to be longer than the word packages. Packages, packages, packages. Packages. Packages! Okay. Shout out, Demon's <laughs> Disciple. Uh, My dad. He's our father. Not our father, because that'd be oh, weird. That, <laughs> okay. I do. So, this is over. <laughs> speaking of uh, incest, I, um. I have been watching a lot of Game of Thrones. <laughs> Speaking of incest, I have been watching a lot of Game of Thrones. Best segue in the history of podcasts. Um, I did not care much for the original series. I thought it was quite slow, but I do respect the time and the storytelling and everything that went into making it. I just think it's a very slow show and it's very hard to get into. House of Dragons is fucking awesome. I think it's a little too quick in comparison because like a lot of shit happens very quickly. Like In the first season, it's like 30 years. Mm-hmm. And it's and so much and, and like you'll just tune in you'll tune into the next episode and it's like oh yeah those five people just died we don't have an explanation because we had to jump forward two years because we have this time thing that we're worrying about but uh, yeah those people are dead and we just, sorry sorry I watched I think I watched like maybe one episode and I couldn't get into it the Game of Thrones yeah Game of Thrones is a slow show my mom is obsessed with it I mean she named our dog Khaleesi my dog's name is Khaleesi my mom's obsessed with Game of Thrones yeah. um House of the Dragon is really good. I know so fucking much about Game of Thrones history now that I think I know more about it than all the world history combined at this point. I know so much. I, I don't, I'm cursed with knowledge. I don't want to know this much. So the thing about this man is he has the most random facts stored in his brain and he'll pop them out at any time. Like, we'll be talking about something from like 1732 and he'll be like oh did you know this you know this happened like, in 1732 what? what so last week i texted her uh i keep thinking about liana stark and just ran and it's it's for those who don't know about liana stark it's john snow's mother who's edward stark's sister who fled with Rhaegar targaryen mm-hmm. um and that's kind of how robert's rebellion started and how robert baratheon became king um but it's a real like sad story and i was just like like tearing up at work thinking about this poor situation like 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 pretend i'm edward stark right Mm -hmm. and i came home with someone else's child and i had to lie and say it was mine so the child doesn't get killed because the child is actually born from someone who who is a traitor Rhaegar targaryen and everyone wants the targaryens killed so my sister's kid is a targaryen Mm -hmm. And no one can know he's a Targaryen. If you were my wife, and I and I had to tell you that to protect this child, I had to tell him that this was my child, and I had sex with someone else. Would you stay with me? Well, see, no, because I wouldn't know that you were lying. Yeah, yeah, but he did it. To so that wouldn't the be baby. my fault. I know you can't know. blame me. But Kate, all I see but, is that you're cheating. But Caitlin Tully stayed with Eddard, and they had five more beautiful little babies. Mm-hmm. That's great. So, <laughs> so apparently being a bastard in Game of Thrones is like the worst thing you could ever be. Mm. I know nothing about Game of Thrones. You, you, Why are we well, talking about You know about what this? a bastard is, right? Mm, it's, like the definition? It's no. Technically, it's when you're born, like like if you cheated on someone and had their baby. That would be your bastard. That's the definition of that? In like old timey language, yes. Oh my gosh. I did not know that. See, this is what I mean. Why we learn. Ugh. And like it's all the time. In, in medieval times slash the Game of Thrones world, being a mm-hmm. bastard is like the worst thing you could be. That's so sad because it is not your fault. It's you, wh- did, you literally did not ask for any of that. Well, well think about it. You, you become king purely based on who you're related to. Like if you're the king's son, you become king. Mm-hmm. And like you didn't ask for that. In in like in this old timey world, the only thing that matters is is where you come from. Like like Jon Snow saved the fucking world, and they're like, oh, we have to send the bastard to the north. You guys are the worst. Technically though, technically he wasn't a bastard because he was born. So Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna. Okay. St- so Ray. Wrap it up. So we are done <laughs> with, the game, with the Game of Thrones podcast. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in to the first episode of Pods Over Pods. This is DJ Mad Dog. 
I have been Hero the MC. If you would like to hear me talk more about Game of Thrones, you can tune into our next podcast called Games Over Thrones. <laughs> Games Over Thrones. Um, I know so much about it. Mm-hmm. It's fucking ridiculous. Uh, I, I might, should we cut the last Game of Thrones part out? No, we'll keep it. <coughs> Sorry. Derek. Sorry. This is DJ Mad Dog. I'm Hero the MC. We have a lot of dope things planned. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Um, be whoop. Uh, I'm so bad at, at, at ending anything. Should I just tempo zone it? Tempo zone? <laughs> no. Um, I'm very, Amir inspi- Max? I'm very inspired by, shout out Amir Max. Oh my <laughs> God. I forgot about Amir Max. Shout out Amir Max. Um, I didn't forget about him. I forgot about him. <laughs> I didn't forget about him. Um, I'm very inspired by a lot of the cool people that do a lot of good things. So thank you guys for being the canvas in which I hope to paint on. Um, this is our first, this is our first delve into the podcast realm. If you guys like this, I will put on another one, I guess. We're aiming for like every two weeks, but with this being like the trial episode, I really just want to get some feedback and I have a plan to release a podcast episode twice a month starting next year. I don't know if we're going to do any more this year, probably maybe one next month and then one in December or whatever. December, I'd like to get all the guys out. Mm-hmm. like as many people as we can up here and just film <laughs> for like an hour and just talk the new year mm-hmm. special or whatever yeah the holiday special the, ho- the bars over bars holidays bo- <gasps> you're welcome you're welcome that's actually such a good idea though <laughs> the bars over bars holiday oh my special. god that's pretty good man. that's that's a good one uh so i'm gonna stop recording um if the audio sounds messed up it's because me and mad dog had to re-record it over the over the whatever we're not. We're not doing recording that. it. Would we just record? Do you know how long we it took me just... to record this? You think we're gonna do it again? We would have to. Yeah, we would have to. Shout out everybody! Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is DJ. Ma- this is Hero of the MC signing <laughs> off. This is DJ Mad Dog.